hey guys so welcome back to my channel so for today i'll be doing a review and a demo on the rare beauty foundation and blush so i picked the shade 230 which is a light medium with neutral olive undertones so this foundation is a weightless foundation with concentrated pigments that feel barely there while proving buildable medium full coverage with neutral with natural finish it is a medium coverage so how to use this foundation is apply your moisturizer first because it's a drying foundation so yeah so the shade i got is 230. let's open the package can you believe i haven't opened the package yet let's open it so this is the bottle for the uh, blush is in the shade Joy. I feel like this is the cutest packaging ever, to be very honest. So I'm very excited to use it. I picked it up from the um, Sephora website. Like I said, uh, it was $29, which I feel like the price is actually not bad. Um, I have seen foundations that are more expensive and they're actually not as good. So yeah, so like I said, I picked that, uh, that, um, that shade, which is very yellow undertone, believe it or not. And I love it because I love my foundations that way and just for a reference i am in mac and c25 and in nars in the one of the foundations um let me search it on the natural radiant longwear foundation i am in the shade punjab i think it's called so just as a reference if you wanted to know and yeah and um and the blush was 20 dollars from the sephora um website and in the description for the uh, blush is a weightless long lasting liquid blush that blends and builds beautifully and for soft healthy flush available in matte and dewy the one i got i think is a dewy kind just because i actually don't own a blush that is dewy everything is matte and it's a powder so this is my first blush uh being a liquid blush and dewy so yeah, for the cooler months my face is usually on the drier side so i think i can get away with a liquid blush hopefully so yeah <laughs> and of course the brand has more stuff it has uh, lipsticks it has um i think it has like an eyebrow product it has a lot of products so if you can if you don't know anything about it yet you can check it out on the sephora website but since I don't get any type of packaging for free, like PR packages, I had to purchase this by myself. So I only purchased two things out of the website. And yeah, so if you wanna know how I obtain this look, please keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm gonna start by applying my moisturizer, which is um, the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue uh, Refreshing Gel. I purchased this um before i went on to my trip to austin and by the way please excuse my nails i haven't called my nail tech lady i think she's on vacations last time i called and she wasn't there so yeah so i applied this this is like a water gel cream so i applied this all over my face because as you can see i have very problematic skin and literally this feels like water in my face So, so far, it is 
my type of foundation because it's more of a yellow tone foundation which you guys know I love so yeah here we go Oh, and please excuse the noise, it's raining outside. You see the difference? Like back then I could never show you my skin like this I would still show you and I would try to cover it as fast but I'm at the age where I'm so comfortable in my skin that look at my imperfections I really don't care okay so this is how it looks oh my god I'm honestly in love with this foundation it dry pretty fast should we do a napkin test to see yeah let's do it so i'm gonna do the napkin test to see if it's transferable or not i have something on my eye literally so if my eye is watery i'm so sorry i literally have something on my eye right now like a hair or something i don't know so this is a napkin test You can see that tiniest bit of makeup is not that crazy. As you can see, I have a lot of blemishes on this side. So hopefully it works. I'm so amazed at how runny this foundation is and how full coverage it is so should I do no I'm gonna do a sponge Oh my gosh, I am in love with this foundation. I know it looks a little bit lighter maybe on the uh, camera, but I promise you this foundation is my perfect, per perfect shade. I honestly thought I was gonna miss it again like I always do, but this time it's just perfect. And let me tell you, I am in love with this foundation. Jesus Christ, it's so lightweight and it covers a lot as you can see how a lot of problematic skin obviously this uh pimple right here you can still see it but because i've been peeking at it and stuff and it's not a big deal to be very honest i do have to say you have to apply your moisturizer because it is a little bit drying on the drier side so i feel like this foundation will be so good for summer i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my bronzer then i'm gonna go ahead and apply the soft pinch dewy liquid blush in shade joy so let me so let me apply my bronzer i'm gonna be applying my Marc jacobs uh tantric 102 so just so you guys can see it you guys you're gonna love this foundation Imagine if you're the kind that really has the perfect skin that has no uh, acne or anything This foundation will look so much better on you. So if your skin looks like that Girl, you are so lucky Oh 
Okay, so I already applied my bronzer, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my uh, blush, my liquid blush. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Duffel applicator as well, so. Okay, so this is how it looks. 